Welcome to MonroeMotors.com. Here we have a 2010 Mercedes C250 cream puff. Just a beautiful car. Beautiful gray uh, metallic paint. Fabulous rims. Look at this car. Wow, gorgeous. Have a look in the trunk. I've got one of the seats folded down so that you can see both of them do fold down in a 60-40 split. You could put skis in there, etc. Have some fun. Um, underneath here we have the spare tire and that area compartment is all nice and clean and tidy. This is the, the clip that holds it up uh, against the trunk. In here you've got another little compartment for all your electronics and lots of room. Up here is the little grab handle for closing the trunk lid so it closes quite easily. This is the C254 Matic, so all-wheel drive, nice dual exhaust at the back. Um, oh, a little boo right there. Somebody hit the bumper right there. It's plastic, don't worry about it, it's fine. Uh, look at the wheels, I love those wheels. Uh, beautiful brakes on it, nice tires, great looking rims, beautiful interior, lots of room in the back seat. This goes up, this comes down, and you've got a nice little armrest. In the armrest, you've got a nice little uh, compartment there, and a nice cup holder there. Beautiful design. You've got rear uh, heating through that vent there, and mat pockets. Beautiful car. Uh, here we have the passenger power seat. Nice perforated seating area. Um, let's have a look in the glove box here. Yes, we have a set of books. So we're all good. I wonder if those are supposed to go in there. I think they were, but we'll put them up there. Uh, 12 volt outlet in the glove box there. Have a look in the door frame. Beautiful. This has got the uh, ash wood door panels. So a nice little touch there. And uh, the side markers on the mirrors. Beautiful rims, no curb rash. Great looking tires. Continental Pro Contacts, and the V6 engine with lots of horsepower and great gas mileage. So let's close the hood now that we've seen under there. Great looking design with those fog lamps and the big Mercedes uh, sign in the grill, and then the nice Mercedes emblem on the hood, and stone chips. Well, I'm sure there are some. Look, there's one there, there's one there couple along the front there, little one there, nothing major really at all as you can see. There was a little bit of a rub past it there, you can see that right there, right? Just a wee bit of a rub, can't really notice it. There's your other rim, cross drilled rotors, nice tires, beautiful rims. We'll go to the back now and check it out. It also is in great shape in the back seat. Looks fabulous, doesn't it? Lots of room. And over here we've got power locks, power windows, power mirrors, nice sound system. Our trunk release is down there. Auto lamps. We're just going to turn those to auto so that when we start it I can show you the lights. And we'll fire this one up. Very comfortable seating. Both of them power. Left front lamp, we've ordered one. It's $4. No big deal. We'll put it in. 70,031 kilometers and a nice looking dash. Over here you've got the uh, radio which pops up there so I'll show you that goes up and then you've got a uh, backup camera that lights up in there so that you can see behind you and see where you're going. You can leave that up or down that's kind of a neat feature. Then you've got your radio there with your phone dialing system over there so your phone connection is right here and then you would just dial your number or you know talk to it because there's a little voice command button right there. So over here are the controls. This is for the dash that you see there. So these controls operate that. So a uh, nice little feature there. That's trip. You can have audio displayed there or your telephone displayed there. Um, message, tires, assist plus, all that stuff. The one message is the light bulb that we have to put in. Again, a $4 bulb. We'll be happy to do that. So, nice looking car, fully automatic air with dual zones, uh, heated seats on both sides, so we'll just touch those and make sure they're working well. You can see them lit up. Uh, automatic transmission with Triptronic, and comfort and sport. So this button here moves this up there from C to S, which is comfort and sport. 
Uh, this is your toggle. This toggle operates your radio. You can see me operating that there from the toggle and back and clear is right there. So cool little system and there you've got it. It found its own radio station. So I'll just turn that down now. And we'll close that. It's a good look. And then up here we've got a nice power sunroof with a power shade. So we'll just open it to show you that that's working well, that feature. And then uh, the other button which is there opens the whole roof. Really nice size. And then we'll close that up. And then I'll show you the sunshade. So the sunshade goes like so and you've got nice little vents up in there so that you can keep the air flowing and not even have any sun on you. On this side over here, we've got our cup holders and then we've got our glove box opening here so you can put your wallet or keys or whatever in there and another little goodies in this one. Nice features, nicely designed. So uh, ESP off, which is your uh, traction control, that's an available option and your auto lamps, nice features. So this down here is our um, fog lamps down here so we've got fog lamps that we can operate if we want to and pretty cool system so we'll just put that on automatic and we'll get out and have a look and see what it looks like outside have a look in that door frame as I get out really nice and clean tidy car exactly what you want to have I'm sure love the color beauty wow let's go over here and see the headlights on so the one little light bulb that's missing goes in right there. We'll get that tidied up for you before you're here and ready to take it home. So have a look around the car one more time. One little flaw that I pointed out. Other than that, that's just a thing of beauty, man. A gorgeous car. So again, there you have it, a 2010 Mercedes C250 4Matic. That's the luxury model with the sunroof and the power seats and heated seats and automatic air here and available at MonroeMotors.com. Come on down and have a look at this one for yourself. Just 70,000 kilometers. Unbelievable. See you real soon.